All right, guys, so I am about to do what I always tell you guys not to do, and that is cram for an exam. Uh, so I've been procrastinating for this past month, and uh, I've probably studied collectively maybe an hour for this exam that I have tomorrow morning. So, or actually it's tomorrow afternoon. It starts at one o'clock. So um, I'm about to head over to Starbucks and get some quality studying in. All right, so I am all done with studying for the night. It's 12 o'clock and I'm absolutely tired and just really don't feel like going over any more lecture notes. So um, one good thing that really saved my behind uh, for this coming exam tomorrow is that I actually recorded the lectures. So rather than um, going through the lecture notes by myself, I'm actually listening to my professor through my headphones go over the lecture notes and uh, that just makes cramming a lot easier so if you are going to cram i suggest all right the memory in my phone kind of shut it off but uh what i was saying is if you are going to cram guys make sure you record the lectures okay it just makes your life that much easier um i've done procrastinating before obviously and uh, it didn't work out too well for me so i hope you guys are praying for me for this exam uh, this is one of my pre-med classes guys so i need a's in all of these classes um, and as of right now, I received a 92 on the first exam, so I'm doing pretty good. But also on that exam, I did study and put the time in. So uh, this exam, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll start the video tomorrow. Like I said, it's going to be an early morning. I'm going to wake up at 6 o'clock, hit the gym, and then start cramming some more. Um, you know, I wanted to clear up a topic that I actually brought up in my first video. Well, not the first video, the video I just posted a couple days ago, and that's that muscle turns into fat if you don't work out. Guys, I didn't literally mean that muscle turns into fat. Like someone's going to wave a wand and muscle's magically going to turn into fat somehow. But what I did mean is that when you're not exercising like you once did when you were 20 years old. What your body naturally does is it takes whatever muscle you did originally have and it begins to shrink in size because there's not enough blood pumping to that area. It's not, there's no muscle fibers being teared so your muscles naturally get smaller. Okay, but what's one thing that you do at 50 that you still did at 20? You still eat, correct? So you're eating all of these carbohydrates, all this energy, and it's being processed in your body, but it's not being used through stress, AKA working out. So all of this energy, all these carbohydrates, all these macromolecules end up getting stored as adipose tissue, which inevitably causes fat or it, it is fat. So that's what I mean by muscle turns into fat, guys. It doesn't directly turn into fat. It just indirectly turns into fat in the sense that if you're not exercising, you're not burning off the energy that you're eating through carbohydrates and it's developing into this adipose tissue that is being stored in certain tissues and muscles as a rainy day storage for energy, but yet you're not using that rainy day storage. So um, that's what I meant by that. So guys, I just got into a study room. Um, I have about an hour and a half until this exam that I've been mentioning is going to be taking place, the exam I'm cramming for. And um, I only have about 20 minutes left of the lecture that I recorded to listen to, just to go over the last bit of material for this exam. Once that is done, I'll probably go back to the prior material and kind of just go over it once more. And that's about it. Then cross my fingers and hope that God takes care of me on this exam, because he knows I need an A. So to get back to this um, topic that we we're talking about regarding muscle turning into fat, um, if you guys have ever taken any sort of basic biology course or basic chemistry course, which I know most of you have because you're nursing majors, um, you know the terms dehydrate, dehydrox, Jesus, dehydration reactions and hydrolysis, right? Dehydration reactions are basically when you're building up or you're combining all these covalent bonds to build up uh, molecules, say from going from a macromolecule, uh, we're going from a, a, a monomer to a polymer, right? A macromolecule. 
and then you have hydrolysis, which is the exact opposite. It's the introduction of, of water to break a to break apart that sort of glycosidic linkage if we're talking about carbohydrates or simple sugars and to build um, monomers from polymers. When you ingest carbohydrates, when we ingest energy, when we eat a hamburger, those molecules are really large and our digestive system isn't able to break those down and process them. So our body naturally goes through hydrolysis to break down these macromolecules into more simple things like simple sugars or, or monomers and um, then we use that for energy throughout the day, whether that's exercising, whether that's talking, walking, studying, whatever you, whatever have you. So when we're 50 years old and we're not exercising as much as we once did at 20 years old, there's no energy being expanded or uh, exerted from our body at all. So we have all these carbohydrates, all this excess energy that is being stored as adipose tissue for a rainy day, which that rainy day never comes because the average American in America is not as active as they once were when they were 20 years old, uh, now being 40 years old with a family of four. So that's what I mean by muscle turning into fat, is that we're no longer in our 20s, we're no longer exercising as much as we once did, ripping these muscle fibers to build larger and larger muscles, but we're still eating the same. We're still eating all these excess amounts of carbohydrates and it's still being stored in our body the same way. The, the physiology is still the same. And if we're not exp uh, expending this energy or using up these carbohydrates, it's just gonna build up as adipose tissue, inevitably causing fat. That's what I mean by muscle turning into fat. It doesn't directly turn into fat, but it indirectly turns into fat by you not exercising as much as you once did. So I just wanted to clear that up with you guys. I'm going to start studying for the next hour and a half and um, I'll start the video right before I take the exam. One cool thing about being at school is that you get to see all of the students' projects um, and what everyone in all of the science disciplines are doing over the summer. This one's pretty cool. I think it's a, um, I don't know, there's like a monitor here. I think it's kind of climate and things. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I probably should stop talking because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But it's pretty cool. It's just basically sand. All right, guys. So that is it. Just finished taking the exam. Uh, it took me about 30 minutes. Not too bad. 50 questions. Uh, there was definitely a lot on there that I was hesitant on choosing an answer. And I credit that to not studying as well as I normally do. And I'm not really used to that. I'm not used to taking exams where, you know, 50% of the questions I'm a little unsure about. So that was different. And this just goes to show you that cramming does nothing but set you up for failure. Um, although I don't think I failed. I really wanted an A, but if I receive a B, it's okay. I still have two other exams to get my overall grade in the class to be an A. I'm sitting at a 95% in the class right now, so I should be okay. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. That exam is done. I'll start the video, or I'll let you guys know what I receive on it when he posts the grade, which should be in the next two or three hours, he said. So we'll see. All right guys, so it's the next day, and um, he took a little longer to grade the exam than I thought, but um, I received a 90% on the exam, so I got an A. Um, that was probably one of the hardest exams I've ever taken, in the sense that I didn't know what I was gonna receive. Um, most exams I've done plenty of studying for. You know, I prepare for the exam days, weeks in advance, and I pretty much have a really good idea as to what I received on it. This exam, there were a lot of questions I didn't know, um, simply due to the fact that I only studied three hours for it, so um, I would highly recommend not doing that. What I've noticed from taking these classes, because this is a regular course, it's one of my pre-med classes, but it's still kind of a regular class. Um, what I've noticed in comparison to nursing school exams is, the nursing school exams are a lot more difficult, guys. You're going to have... Um, options A, B, C, or D, and A, B, C, or D, and sometimes E are all correct. You just need to choose the right one. Um, and those exams are really difficult. This exam, there's only one right answer. So that's probably one of the reasons why I received a 90% on the exam after only studying three hours for it, is probably because there's not multiple right answers, and I'm used to taking multiple right answer exams, so this was a little bit easier. But I was still extremely nervous taking this exam, guys, so I definitely would recommend not doing that. Um, that's pretty much about it. I'm about to eat dinner at my parents' house, so I'll see you guys in the next video.